everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my Madden 19 Connected Franchise with the Denver Broncos. This is episode 2. So if you guys missed the first episode, look for a playlist on my channel. And if you're new, subscribe. Uh, click that notification bell uh, to know whenever I come out with a new video. And if you like what you see by the end of this, uh, click that thumbs up. I'm trying to get at least 2 to 4 likes for this video. And uh, leave any comments below. So here we are for week two against the Raiders, the AFC West matchup. I didn't part one early in the season, but before we get started, I'm going to talk about the injuries we have here. Um, we got Derek Wolf out for three weeks, Devontae Booker out for six weeks, excuse me, and Royce Freeman out for four weeks. These are big injuries to me, um, especially Derek Wolf on defense. Um, but I ended up trying to sign a backup running back, and we got. Um, Damian Williams here, overall 79, I mean, he was the best uh, running back available in the free agency, so we're going to try him out, hopefully he doesn't get injured uh, like the other two, <laughs> so uh, I'll see you guys in Denver against the Raiders. Good catch by Hewerman, uh, that is a big first down for Keenum, that's a gain of 25 yards to start the game. Oh my gosh, already really a turnover. And that is a fumble recovery by Hurst. That is a fumble by Williams. That's not a bad that's not a good start as a Bronco. Right, let's get this ball back. Let's get an interception here. Let's go. Oh and I said let's get an interception. I said, let's get an interception. Bradley Roby with a, uh, a timely pick in the end zone to get the ball back for the Broncos. And he caught it. What a catch by Emmanuel Sanders over two defenders for the first. Not very accurate. But we're going to try for the field goal here. The 49 yarder. Let's see if we can hit it. And should be good. Should be good. And it's good. We're up 3 0 here in the second quarter. Oh, man. The loss of, of Keenum is going gonna, gonna to hit me hard, man. That's a first down. Come on, guys. What the hell was that? Oh my god, and that's a touchdown. And it looks like Chubb just like completely whiffed on that attempted tackle. Oh, that's a pick! That's a pick! That's an interception by Brandon Marshall. What a timely interception for the Broncos. It's the second turnover of the game. Alright, this is going to be a long field goal for the Broncos. Unable to really capitalize after that interception, but that's a deep kick, and it's good. That's a second field goal for the Broncos. It's going to be 6 to 7. With 30 seconds left in the second quarter. Alright. Yeah, one yard here to go for the first down. I need this. Come on, Williams. We got this. Power speed through and big rush for the first for Henderson. For the first down. Oh no, what terrible pass with Paxton Lynch. He was already offline and he still managed to uh, give an interception. It was a low catch. Give me that ball. That's a user pick. Let's go. Let's go. 
That's the third interception by the Broncos. That is an interception by Todd Davis. Oh, we gotta capitalize on these things, man. Nope. Give it back to him. Come on. After giving up the ball to them, we're able to hold them off on defense. And now they're gonna go for a field goal to go up 10 to 6. We don't have a touchdown this game. We need it this quarter. Our defense is kind of holding up, but we can't move the ball up because, honestly, our offense is the weakest part of our team. Oh, it's a fumble! And we get it back! Oh, he keeps going! And we get the ball back. That's Chris Harris Jr. with a fumble reception. So this has been a turnover-heavy game. Eight minutes left. We are close to the goal line. Yeah, screen. There you go. The block. There you go. For the first down. We needed this. Here we go. And the Marius catches it at the one yard line. What a catch. He got licked after that. That is a second catch. There you go for the touchdown. That is a touchdown by Emmanuel Sanders. Almost got tipped actually, but that pass just sneaked through for the touchdown. Oh fuck. Again! It's fucking Wow man. That offensive line just gave up that point after for McCannis. Now they can be up the lead if they just hit a field goal. That's a sack by Chubb, the rookie. That's two sacks in this game already. And his presence is felt in the defense. He has all the sacks for the Broncos this game. And that's a first down. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. That is a fumble. Oh, man. Really? Damien? Oh, and actually, I think we keep the ball. I think they said it was a down play. And the Raiders will call timeout. Wow. We got lucky. All right, here we go. If we get this first down, that's game. And it's ball game. Uh, injury timeout. Are you kidding me? Uh, now it's Damien Williams? Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding? Okay, here we go. Last five seconds of the game. We are going to win it out 12 to 10. It was a gutsy, gutsy performance. Our defense won our game. <laughs> it was not a pretty looking game for the offense. And we ended up winning that game. Somehow. <laughs> Somehow, but... Oh man, it was not a good looking game. A lot of injuries. I'm not understanding this with Madden now. We're having a lot of injuries. And look at, the, look at, look at our yardage. Not good from both teams. Uh, but it was the takeaways we had. We had a four takeaways. I believe it was three interceptions and a fumble. Uh, let me double check everything though. Um, total offense is 224. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Turnovers. Um, it was just a crappy, crappy game for the Broncos as well as the Raiders. Um, but in terms of player stats, we'll take a look at it right now. Uh, come on. For the Broncos, Keenum only had one pass. That was for 25 yards. And then Paxton Lynch came in after his injury. Went 11 for 24 with two interceptions. One pass and touchdown to put the, put the Broncos in a lead. And then rushing-wise, we had Damian Williams coming in. He did have that one fumble. Um... I don't know. It was just a it was just a bad timing fumble, but we were able to recover from it. But rushing for 49 yards, 10 attempts, 
not bad. Um, so then for receiving, uh, we had Manuel Sanders and Cortland Sutton lead the way, 40, about 40 yards apiece, as well as three catches. Demarius Thomas with 25 yards. Um, Emmanuel Sanders with the only with the only touchdown for the Broncos. Um, defensively, uh, it would, this is what we this is what won the game. We had Chris Harris Jr., Shaquille Barrett, Brandon Marshall come up with big tackles. Um, Bradley Chubb with two sacks. Von Miller with a sack. Uh, and then for the defense, Todd Davis, Bradley Roby, Brandon Marshall all came out with picks uh, to basically it set, the, set the tone for the defense. Um, I believe he also forced a fumble. That was by Bradley Chubb and Von Miller. The recovery was by Chris Harris Jr. that put away the game. It was not pretty. You know, this game was not the best game that you'll ever see me play. It was terrible. I'll keep it at that. But we did have a lot of injuries, man. This is what I'm worried about. Lots of injuries. Uh, D'Angelo Anderson with a player upgrade. Power running back to see that does fit in our system. So we need to use that. And we increase the stats. So it's gonna be on the word plus two, break tackle plus two, and stiff line plus one. And I think that's gonna be it for the uh, improvements. We're gonna check out our injuries, don't let it be anything serious. Oh my god. Keenum out for five weeks. Shaquille Barrett out for the year. 35 weeks with a torn pack. This is just awful. I wonder if it's our staff. I don't understand. I don't understand. Keenum had one throw, then got injured after a running play. I don't know. I really don't know. Man, this sucks. But we're going to be playing. The Raven, Ravens next game. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Defensively, I lost. I lost. Uh, I lost some big names, man. This is this is very really deflating. Um, we need to improve here. Losing Shaquille Barrett. Uh, Shane Ray's in. He's very capable, but Shaquille Barrett is definitely a big presence uh, at the line. Man, that sucks. Um, but we're gonna, I don't know. We need to look at the free agents, see if there's any quarterbacks that are available, uh, which I doubt. But we'll take a look. Maybe we'll get lucky. We got TJ Yates, Boykin. Oh my goodness, no way. Really, man? Really? Can't believe we have to hit like that, that fast. I'm gonna take a look at some trades here, and if there's something happens, I'll let you know in the next episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, click the thumbs up button. Leave any comments below. Hope you guys have a good day. Take it easy, and peace.